Shamai! At Slynn Ross Cardiff, we teach courses for those who are complete beginners, right up to fluent Welsh speakers who would like to make more use of their Welsh. The course books we use have been developed by the team at the National Centre for Learning Welsh. In this short film, we will show you what you will learn on the foundation level, a level soul right. This level is for those who have completed the entry level, a level Menediad, or have been advised it's the best level for those who have completed the level assessment with one of our experienced tutors. More about the level assessment at the end of the film. Now, let's take a look at what you will learn on the foundation level, a level Solvine. In the first unit, you will revise what you learned on the entry level, a level Menediad, refreshing your memory before moving on. In the first part of the level Solvine, you will learn how to express your wishes or intentions and also how to express an opinion about something. You'll then cover how to offer to do things and to ask a favour. You will go on to learn how to use prepositions and to use more language patterns in the future tense, such as where you will go in the future, as well as asking for and giving permission and discussing periods of time. When you are midway through the course, you will revise adjectives and you'll learn how to compare different people and things using these adjectives. You will then practice asking questions in order to exchange factual and personal information. You'll revise given instructions before learning how to give directions. Then, in the last few units, you will learn how to give advice and express a wish to do something, as well as learning ordinal numbers. As there are many patterns to learn in the past and future tense, you'd be glad to know that there are revision units at the end of the course to revise these patterns. Also, as you may already know, there are many ways to say yes and no in Welsh. The good news is that there's a whole unit to help you refresh your memory and to revise the different ways you will have learned during the course. And right at the end of the course, there is a unit which focuses on helping with exam preparation. If you choose to sit an exam at the end of the course. You will also come across lots of new vocabulary throughout the course. Language is all about words, so you should try to learn the vocabulary before your lessons. There are lots of fun ways to do this online. As you can see, you will learn a lot on this course. The great news is that as well as the revision units I've just mentioned, there are other revision units dotted throughout the course to help you practice the Welsh you learned in the previous units. Also, at the end of every unit, there is homework, which practices the new patterns you have learned. It's important to complete the homework to ensure that you understand what was introduced in the lesson, and it allows your tutor to monitor your progress and to give you a helping hand where needed. There are also lots of resources and online support for you at learnwelsh.com. And let's not forget that our team of tutors will be there to support you throughout. This video is part of a series which shows what is taught on every level. If you're a more experienced learner, why not take a look at our other short films? If you're unsure of your level, you're very welcome to give us a call and we can arrange a level assessment with one of our experienced tutors who will be happy to help. Call us on 02920 874 710 or email info at learnwelsh.co.uk Also, why not take a look at our website learnwelsh.com forward slash Cardiff hyphen university and find a course that suits you. Hoi la